Species management is an ongoing challenge across the state. Mark Carpenter shows us how a competition off West Hawaii is helping the environment. Hey, welcome to my first episode of Kona Spearfishing Adventures. Calvin Lai Jr. has spent most of his life underwater. Born and raised on Kauai, he's now a firefighter on the Big Island. But his real passion is spearfishing. And this month, he organized one of the sport's premier tournaments, the National Spearfishing Championships at Waikoloa Beach, featuring 97 competitors from both here at home and across the country. It's one point per fish, one point per pound. And it was unlimited and no size limit. No limit because this tournament targeted three specific types of invasive species, Roy, Ta'ape, and To'ao, and everyone racked up a haul. Just to give you an idea on how much invasive species came out of that reef with 97 competitors and on a four mile stretch, it was almost 3,000 pounds. So we, we did well, um, and you know everybody was happy that we took care of that area and tried to do our best, but there's still, I mean, there's so much, still so much invasive fish out there. The state had no involvement in the tournament, but applauds the invasive only strategy. The Roy fish in particular poses a significant threat to native species. They're just eating anything they can fit in their mouth, basically. Um, and, and they will go after, um, you know, like juvenile parrot fish, herbivores, uh, fish that are really important to like maintaining coral, coral reef health. There's even times where I shot uh, Roy's and there's another Roy in the mouth and in the stomach. So they eat their own kind. Um, I don't know about the Toao and Ta'ape, but as far as the Roy's, they're animals. Lai himself shot more than 60 fish, good enough to win an individual title, and he's already won several national and world spearfishing honors. He's hopeful this event lays out a new model for future tourneys. Uh, local tournaments have been doing invasive species for a long time, but I think this is a turning point for the U.S. nationals and possibly other places in the United States where um, they're going to do invasive species. In case you're wondering what happened with all that fish, much of the roy was used for compost, while the others made for good dinner. Art Carpenter, Hawaii News Network.